Okay, welcome to video number five, and this video is all about uh, monetization and how to change out the hop links that are currently my hop links with your own, as well as talking about AdSense. And I'm going to go over all areas that you need to change that that have some sort of uh, ad. Uh, most of them are hop links, but that have some sort of hop link um, or AdSense. But AdSense, it's really just one plugin. So really. The areas you need to change with hoplinks um, are the most important, actually, um, because there are more of those than anything else. So, in a nutshell, we've got this banner. We've got these three banners here. So, um, and here in this link, this link here is also a ClickBank hoplink which you can just delete if you like if you you know I recommend you change the text in these facts uh, footer widgets anyway but um, so <clears throat> we got one two three four five that we can see on this page and the AdSense products page or any of the products page of this set of blogs which are these links so you have to change out your Amazon links um, so that's it. So there's AdSense, Hoplinks, ClickBank Hoplinks, and Amazon. Okay. So we'll go back to the home page. So all of these here, including this banner in the header and these sidebar banners, as well as these w footer widgets, all of these can be changed within the widgets area. I already mentioned the products being Amazon. And then let's go to one of the posts. And then these hyperlinked keywords here are also hop links. Okay, so I'll go over the plugin that deals with those. You don't see AdSense on here yet because I haven't actually activated the plugin, but I will do that. Um, so why don't I? I'll just go ahead and uh, I think what I might do since Amazon is one of the few. Well, it's, there's only one page of Amazon-related products. I'll go ahead and talk about that first. Now this is a this is a page called AdSense products so I'll go to pages uh, actually before I do that let's talk about the plugin itself so I'll go to you go to tools and Amazon feed okay and then click options Now, in one of the previous tutorials, I had deactivated the Amazon Feed plugin, which I recommend you do, and then reactivate it. And when you do, all of this information is has is has been deleted. I I replaced it. I put my information back in, just so I could uh, go over this plugin with you. Um, so you'll want to add your access, AWS access key, secret access key, and your associate tag. This comes with when you sign up for the affiliate program. Uh, if you're signing up for Amazon, a Amazon's affiliate program to target U.S. visitors, then you'll want to sign up with Amazon.com. To sign up uh, to target U.K. visitors, for example, sign up with Amazon.co.uk. And I've not signed up with uh, to target Canadian uh, visitors, so I'm assuming it's Amazon.ca, but I could be wrong. Um, <clears throat> but to simplify things, we'll just stick with with one since I have this set for United States and um, if you haven't already I would go to if you haven't if you uh, obviously sign up with amazon.com to get your your um, your associate tag okay and to get your AWS key you want to go to aws.amazon.com and I've already signed in and once you've signed in once you've uh, signed up for free and then you sign in. You can click. Um, I believe it's AWS. I'll, I kind of forget this sometimes, so I'll just see if I can remember. If you click AWS, and then click Security Center, and then um, Security Credentials. Oops. Sign back in. Okay, security credentials, and then you just scroll down. You can see access credentials here. 
Now this is my secret key. Sorry, this is my this is my uh, access key. And to see your secret key, you would click this that says show, and a little pop-up box would appear. And then you you can grab your um, I don't know how many characters it is, but it's something like 25 characters or so. So you'd click that, grab your access key, and you should already have your associate tag um, from when you signed up for the affiliate program. Okay, so then that's that's your access key. You type in your paste in your secret key, your associate tag. Now, when I had deactivated and reactivated this plugin in a prior to, uh, video, and I went to search and display and I said everything looks looks okay well that that wasn't quite true um, I did have this set to books um, so as you can see on this page these are these sh these should be books right however I only wanted it to show up on I had it set under display for just pages so when you deactivate and reactivate the plugin add your Amazon related information I got rid rid of this. I only had pages selected. You can have posts selected, but I only had pages selected. Max results. I think I had 20. Yep. Images. I think I had medium. Show text. Show description. Link target. You might want to do a new window. Okay. So that that looks about right. And search. Got books. Okay, connection. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and click save. Right. Now what we want to do is go to pages. Because this AdSense products is a page. These are all pages up here. There we go, AdSense products. So I'm going to edit that. Click edit. And there's actually nothing on the page because all I want on this page are results. Now you you can add, you know, a paragraph. Um, here are some great products. Right. Okay. So you can add text if you like uh, to make that page more unique. Um, you know, maybe some keyword rich paragraph, a keyword rich paragraph or description, etc. And I'm gonna move this down a little bit. And as you can see down here, this is where I added a keyword. In this sense, uh, in this case, I add sense. Um, I think you can add a comma and add other, you know, maybe PPC or something like that. Um, I just had AdSense, so I just wanted to point this out on the AdSense products page that if after you deactivate and then reactivate, this is blank, then you're not going to see any products appear because um, you need to make sure there's a keyword. There, there probably will be a keyword, at least one keyword. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that that's that's already sorted. Now, because I had changed in under under tools and Amazon feed, I changed the the images to be medium sized and pages only. These should appear a little bit larger. There we go. Okay, so you, so you can you can adjust, you know, the output of the product images. Um, looks like it's formatting a bit strange, but I think that's more to do with the plugin. But um, okay, or you could you could also have it so it doesn't show text, so it's just the images as well. You know, some people like you, for example, you might want to paste in here one of those uh, A stores, those Amazon stores. So it's like a, I think it's a, a bit of JavaScript code. So you'd sign it into you know Amazon.com's affiliate program, uh, create a, an A store, paste in the JavaScript code. I I I haven't done this obviously with this blog, so I'm only assuming it works with the JavaScript inside, um, you know, uh, the HTML mode, and then you'd click update. <coughs> but I just want to go over that quickly. So um, as you can see, I'll just go back quickly to Amazon feed. Once again, if you've deactivated and reactivated and it's blank, then there shouldn't be any issues. But when you first get the blog, it won't be deactivated. So you'll see that this is my associate tag. So after you've done all that and updated everything, just, just for good measure, maybe just uh, right click and click um, copy link location. 
and then maybe in, in Notepad. Let's uh, paste that in, and you'll see my associate tag. So you want to make sure that you'll see tag equals. So you'll have to look at that link and make sure it shows your associate tag. It should, but you know it's it's always good to double check. Um, okay, so that's the Amazon uh, products page under Ansed's products. You you don't even have to use this this plugin. You can completely get rid of it. It's up to you. There are other Amazon plugins out there. This is just a free one from WordPress. And I'll go over AdSense probably last. So um, the next thing I'm going to show you is the SEO Smart Links plugin, which adds these links, these hyperlinked keywords within the content of any of your posts. Um, because that is an, that is a um, hmm. Just trying to think of the easiest way to show you this here. Um, maybe it's easier actually to go back and, and start with the uh, hop links every every blog has two two different hop links okay there aren't more than that there aren't you know it's it's promoting two products now obviously you can pr promote more Clickbank products or market health or cj.com or whatever program you'd like but if you stick with these you know specific uh, Clickbank products then you know just so you know that there are only two different as you can see here there's the AdSense recipe and the Socrates WordPress theme so <coughs> what I would do is in a notepad file you know once you have one of these blogs installed is to right click you know one of the images here one of the banners and copy link location so for the AdSense recipe I'm going to control V and paste that. So that's my hop link. So you know that's the one to replace. And then the Socrates theme, right click, copy link location. Paste that here for Socrates WordPress theme. Okay, so those are the two hop links you need to replace with your own. Mine with your own. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you know. I, I brought that up because it, it, it's good to have these handy. You saw it was very easy to do. You just get a notepad file, right click over the, over the banners and make sure you got your two hop links. Well, they're my hop links, but make sure you, there's, you have both of them. And now you can reference them very easily. So let's go back before I get into the sidebar and all the widgets. Let's go back and, and deal with the hop links of these hyperlinked keywords. And where you can find that is in settings and then scroll down to SEO Smart Links. Once again, you can deactivate this plugin and just not deal with these at all and not have hyperlinked keywords at all. And you can delete the plugin if you like. However, if you do keep it, um, let's just go over a few things. Um, essentially what it does is, as you'll see down here, you, you type in the keyword that you want hyperlinked within your content. Now you you might install this exact blog and replace all the articles or rewrite all the articles which I recommend you do anyway. Um, at the very least rewrite them because everyone who's purchased these blogs will have the exact same content. So um, <clears throat> but you know so let's assume that you have replaced all the content. These are all fresh articles or rewritten articles. Okay, so and you know that the word AdSense, you know, especially if you rewrote those articles or added new articles about AdSense, you know that the term or the keyword, I should say, AdSense is going to be repeated throughout all or some of your articles. So you, you just add the keyword AdSense, add a comma, and then add the hyperlink. You know, it can be to um, <clears throat> another site of yours, it can be to um, you know, once again, a, a ClickBank product. Now, as you can see, I can even just copy all these, highlight all those to a right click and copy and paste inside Notepad. And it might be easier to, uh, to replace these out. So say your new um, hop link was, you know, your hop link 
you know, the dot click bank. Uh, th obviously, this isn't r this isn't how it works, but you know what I'm saying. So then you can just, you know, that's another thing too. You can have your hop link right next to mine, so you know that for every instance here, you're just going to replace that. Now, in this particular blog, these all use the exact same uh, AdSense, uh, sorry, ClickBank products. So you can just highlight, paste, highlight, paste. Okay, and then and then just scroll down and update. Max number of links uh, per article. You can change that to two or three, or you know, you you could even um, you can even link to your to your homepage. So you could do your domain.com, and you can you know you can hyperlink to your homepage, and that's good for on-site, on-page SEO. You know, linking to other articles on your site, so that the spiders, you know, you, you're 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 given each page r relevance and um, importance through on-page SEO. So you could you could hyperlink a lot of keywords to your main domain. Um, that's actually something that's good to do as well. But I just wanted to point out that that uh, this is one of the areas where there there is monetization occurring um, through the using this SEO Smart Links plugin. Okay, now obviously I'm not going to save that, but um, you know that this is a kind of a cool plugin. It's it's a handy plugin. Um, right. Okay. So I talked about Amazon. I've talked about AdSense here. Sorry. ClickBank hop links within the content, and then really all that's left is this ClickBank link in your footer number four, which I'll go over. All these now can be controlled from within your widgets. So let's go there now. I'll talk about AdSense last. So you go to Appearance and Widgets. Okay, so since the widgets up here start with the Ad Codes widget, that's here, this 300 by 250 ad spot, ad banner. If you click and open this, once again, this is it's kind of helpful. It's it, it could be easier because everything gets kind of squished and you know the the lines get you know returned. It might be a little bit difficult. So once again, I just you know I'm just going to do a Control C to copy that. Go back to my uh, my Notepad file. I use Notepad a lot for these quick quick changes. And you can see the hop link here, which is once again AdSense recipe because you can see at three three nine five two cn so once again you would change this out to your hoplink.com you know or whatever link you're going to use and that's really all you need to change now you can um, I've given the title of AdSense recipe because that's the name of the actual Clickbank product but you could you know your main keywords so even though it's a banner that that points to a Clickbank product you know, by adding your own keywords, this is sort of an SEO tip um, in the title as well as the alt tag. You know, you can you can you can tell Google a little bit more about your website by saying that you know, because the spiders can't tell that that's a, a banner to to AdSense recipe. So you could you could keep it as AdSense recipe, or you can you know add your own keywords to that image. So that that image has a, a bit more um, SEO optimization when it comes to keywords pertaining to your your domain and your site. Okay, but so the main thing is the hop link, and then of course if you want to mess with um, changing the keywords of the title as well as the alt tag, that's up to you. And okay, so now once you've changed that out, I would just highlight all this. Do a Control C to copy it, delete that out, paste that in. Now you can see your hop link right there. Okay, and then of course you click Save. Just move this over a little bit. So that would take care of the 300 by 250 banner. For these two, you, we're going to open up the Add Squares widget, and you can see it's even more squished. So once again, you can do a, con a Control A. To, c to copy all and then a control C go back here and once again it's just gonna be a heck of a lot easier to replace out 
you know, you, my hoplink with your own. And by having these two here as reference, and you know, even better if you had your link next to it, then you can tell, okay, this this ad square, if you will, this banner, um, has this hoplink. Okay, that that's pertaining to the AdSense recipe, so you know to use this hoplink. You know, your, your hoplink for that particular product. So someone doesn't click the AdSense recipe banner and get taken to the Socrates theme website or something like that. And same with this one, Control A, Control C on your keyboard, obviously for a PC. Paste that in. Now you can see this BE7 D4. Okay, that's obviously pertaining to the Socrates theme. And if you had another one of your hop links here, you could just copy that, replace it here. So now you see your hop, hop link here for that particular ClickBank product. Control A after you highlight it. Delete that out. Paste that in. And now you can see your hop link. Okay, so it's hard to see because it's so squished. Um, and that's why I recommend you do a Control A, Control C, and paste it into Notepad or something similar. Right, so now we've taken care of these three banners. That was easy enough. Now we're going to, you know, we'll, we'll just go ahead and jump all the way down to the very bottom one because this is our banner up here in the header. And once again, it might be easier to just highlight that whole thing. Control C, paste that there. And once again, you can see this matches up with this AdSense recipe. So you take take your other hop link. I mean, honestly, this should this shouldn't take you more than about five minutes to maximum to change all this out. This is you know once you've got your hop link created and. Uh, there's, you know, see the documentation page for how to change out, you know, how to create your own hop link. You know, you, you can mask your URLs or cloak your links, whatever, but I'm not really going into that. Um, and then you just take all this again, control C, copy it, delete that out, paste that in, and, you know, the, the banner will stay there, but, you know, it'll now link to your personal hop link. <coughs> So once again, it's pretty obvious here, this 468 by 60 header and the ad codes and ad squares. So that's all four of these done in, honestly, if I wasn't talking, <laughs> you know, that I could, I could have swapped those out in probably a minute or less. And the other link that's in the sidebar, actually, sorry, it's in the footer there. You know, if you're going to swap out all this content anyway and, and create your own paragraph just rewrite what I've written make it slightly different you don't even need a hop link in there um, but to to change all, all, all four of these footer widgets it's very easy you just see you can see footer number one and you can see it says fact you can call it something else besides fact you can call it um, news uh, news spot number one or something like that but it's this footer number four that you can see once again the hop link is right here so just grab all that go into notepad paste it in you can see that I'm once again I'm using the AdSense recipe so you can just take your hop link here paste it in there okay grab all that control C copy and just paste it in, click save, click save, and uh, you know, I mean, that doesn't take that long, does it? That's that's quite a quick way to do it. Now, so okay, so that that should be it, other than AdSense itself, which I'll talk about in a minute. I just wanted to mention that uh, I had installed this plugin, and I mentioned it briefly on another, on an earlier video. and it's called search and replace now to be fair I know this plugin works and, and works well but I hadn't actually tested it on these on the this set of blogs until just earlier um, and it didn't work so if we go to tools search and replace unfortunately it didn't swap out any of the links and the reason why is I don't think this plugin will work 
um, for code that is in that a uh, code code that's in widgets and you know since most of these are in widgets all of these even even this bottom one's in a widget it didn't swap those out these other links that are in content that's those are being um, injected using the SEO smart links plugin so it didn't work there either and then of course Amazon is using the Amazon feed plugin so unfortunately this plugin doesn't really serve a purpose with these blogs I do apologize for that I thought it would help out um, as you can see it was very easy to swap swap out the the hyperlinks the hop links especially if you use notepad and you have everything all set up just like I showed you um, however I think this plugin is still worthy I mean if you don't think you'll use it at all just delete it you know there's the, the fewer plugins you have the the better um, certainly no sense in having one however if you plan to flip these blogs or change the content and sell them to your customers uh, or your list and you know you're gonna have a bunch of new content written and you plan to manually insert links um, hop links and and then you go on to sell the site sell the blog and you want to swap swap out you know your hop links with your new customers for example if you sell on Flippa then you know this this plugin could come in handy because because you've manually added the hyperlink inside the post itself not using the SEO smart links plugin then you know this this search and replace plugin will work and you would just um, you know type in your hop link put it there and then put in your new customers hop link and then you'd click go actually you'd click you know maybe just click all so it would go through posts like content post content titles etc well you wouldn't have a hop link in the title per se but unfortunately this plugin doesn't really work on on this set of blogs so um, I apologize I do try to make things as easy as possible for my customers but uh, you know it doesn't always work so I did do my best I did do some more searching as well and I couldn't find anything that would quite do what I was hoping it would do but like I said I hope you find this video easy enough and you know that the majority of these are all in the in the widgets section anyway and it's AdSense you want to deactivate and then reactivate add your AWS information uh, make sure you sign up etc um, so okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to plugins and I'm going to go ahead and activate the ads the quick AdSense plugin which is not activated at the moment I'm going to activate that now I probably shouldn't be doing this but I did add some of my own AdSense into this plugin purely to show you how AdSense will would look on the blog but you know you probably could have imagined that anyway um, before I go into the plugin itself I'll just go back to appearance and widgets and you'll see the ads widget one quick AdSense is here and you can drag this and you can put it at the very top of the sidebar okay um, because I have uh, my my personal AdSense code in here that's why that widget appeared or it could be because I set it up but I'll, I'll show that to you in a second once again you can take out this this AdSense code you can completely delete it and go to ad, log into AdSense grab your AdSense code and paste it in or you could once again do something where you paste it in here now all you'd really need to change is your pub ID that's it just this long number that comes with your AdSense account but you can also um, change the color of the border you know this is all doing it manually of course inside AdSense itself you can set all this stuff up and you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily get this this long format of code everything would be a, a, a much smaller um, snippet of JavaScript um, the reason why I put this code in as such is so that you can personally change the link color the text color without always going back to AdSense and and going through the setup process it's really up to you um, and that kind of segues into you know 
using this if if you use Firefox, Colorzilla is a is a very cool little add-on that fits in the very bottom left of your corner. I'll show you it on my my uh, browser. This is um, Colorzilla, and if you if you click that little eyedropper, you can see the uh, crosshairs. Hopefully, you can see the crosshairs that appear, and anywhere you hover over that. Uh, on a web page with those crosshairs and then you click like if I want to know what color that orange is I then click that and down here you can see that it tells me the hexadecimal value of that color so say I wanted that exact orange color I could I could copy that and then go to my notepad file and say I wanted the link color to be orange I could just replace this and paste okay so now my link color of my 300 by 250 AdSense ad unit will have an orange link color of, th of that D0490C and I'll, I'll show you what I mean I'll copy this back, I'll go back to my widgets paste that back in, click save and I'll update this, the AdSense uh, block should appear right here okay now you can see that it's got orange the, the link itself is an orange color you can also see AdSense appear here but I'll, I'll go over the actual plugin quick AdSense in a second um, so once again you can go to um, addons.mozilla.org and and you know this URL here and you can or just type in colorzilla for Firefox and you can add that add-on just add to Firefox it, you know it's a, it's a handy little tool so when you're on this site uh, or whichever blog you're on and you want to to have a link color a link color that matches you know your blog um, which is one thing you know sometimes people do that or sometimes they like it to stand out such as that orange or such as this blue um, you know you can use the colorzilla little um, eyedropper tool to help you get the colors you think you might need in your AdSense now you don't you certainly don't have to use this script as such uh, obviously change out your pub ID um, but even when you go to Amazon it, uh, sorry AdSense itself and you and you go through the setup process of creating a new ad if you if you know what colors you think you you know might look good on your blog by using this little add-on then you could paste them into a notepad file and and you know you could say something like link color is that you know border color is you know something like that you know and you can you can uh, customize it's just easier although you know I, I'm used to using Photoshop but you know I'm not gonna open up Photoshop just to get a couple of colors I'll just use colorzilla so I thought I'd mention that now <coughs> um, the way I've set up quick AdSense I've only set it up to use as you know to have one wi one widget to appear in the sidebar of 300 by 250 size and as you can see here I've got AdSense of 468 by 60 banner size or, or content ad unit size which is this size 468 by 60 <coughs> to appear below my article title but above the content of the article um, and actually at the at the bottom of the content of my articles too you can have you know a larger banner 300 by 250 or, or whatever you like but this the way this these blogs are set up at the moment is 300 by 250 here and 468 by 60 at the top and bottom of, of the content of the articles so let's go ahead and go to that plugin now it's under settings <coughs> and quick AdSense and if you okay so be okay so place up to three ads so you, you know you can adjust this this is this is what you should see after you've activated the plugin this is what you'll see you can you can adjust these settings um, for how you want AdSense to appear and the way I have this here is okay so 
you can see uh, by default these are the the ads uh, ads 1 through 10 and then random ads that just means it'll randomize which ones it'll show so um, and of course you have to tick the box so if you want um, if you want to show ads 2 you need to make sure that you assign click the assign check uh, tick box and then tell you know at the end of the post so you have to assign that you have to make sure you as click that to assign it you want ads to show at the bottom of the post and you want ads 2 which will be ads in this box here which I'll show you um, or if you don't want any ads at the end of the post just untick that you can really you know this is quite a robust plugin so you, you know I, I'd if you're really interested in how you can um, you know utilize this plugin to its full capabilities feel free to uh, check it out on the WordPress repository site um, there's a link to it in the documentation page but once again the way I've set this up is one ad to appear at the beginning of the post and that's a once again 468 by 60 so when you go into AdSense if you don't want to use my code and just swap out your your pub ID then just go into AdSense and create a 468 by 60 banner yourself and replace all this text and just like with the Clickbank um, widgets you know you could do a control A to copy control oops control A control C to copy it paste it in here and as you can see it's 468 by 60 that's the size um, you can change link colors and color of the text color of the URL the background color if you wanted a, a gray or something or or you know make sure once again you change out your your pub ID your ad, ad client pub ID um, or just not use this code at all and use your code from AdSense you can just delete that out oops control a delete that out and paste it in or you could even use a maybe you want to use this uh, plugin information here. Uh, I'm sorry. This um, 468 by 60 banner. So you don't have to have AdSense here. You could have a banner appear up here. Okay. So it, could, it doesn't have to be 468. You can have. You can take this code from your your widget, from your Ad Codes widget. Copy the whole thing. Control A, and then go into Ads One and paste in all that content, that uh, HTML for that banner. So I hope that makes sense. So add one, adds one. You can you know align it to left, center, right. Adds one is the beginning of the post. So you would tick this box, select adds one, and in the add add one's adds one box, paste in your AdSense code or your HTML for your banner code. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it's 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 a cool plugin in that sense. So you can you're monetizing your your articles because your side buyers already monetized. So um, that's pretty much it. You know, some people say you know wh where exactly do I change out my hop links? Well, um, obviously you have to watch the video to to really understand how to do that. But um, <clears throat> you know, it's really mostly in the sidebar and your Amazon products as well as the the in content links which is the SEO smart plugin smart links plugin and the the quick AdSense plugin so that's it I mean you know if you, if you have this stuff set out and you know you right click my the banners here to get the link location and you and you you know, give it a reference, AdSense recipe, AdSense recipe, paste my link, Socrates WordPress theme, it's right there, paste paste my hop link, and then next to it, you know, maybe put yours. Um, just so just so that they're there and they're handy, it's it, it'll save you so much time. It it only takes a you know a minute or so to. It takes you 30 seconds to grab mine, and then you know to create yours might take you a minute or two. And then you have you have them as reference, you know, f for the swapping out all the banner hop links. It's very it's it's very easy. It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, <clears throat> and same with the AdSense. You know, you could just delete out the code I have if you don't want to mess with pub IDs, um, or you know, 
use the code I've provided, change out your pub ID, play with some colors, you know, it's really up to you. And that, that pretty much is it. Um, you know, it's one of the most important things because you want to make sure you're getting paid and you're earning money from these blogs. And, uh, you know, in retrospect, maybe I should have just put Google or something that, that didn't link to my hop link, but I, I wanted to do that for demonstration purposes. So you can see, ah, there's a hop link. Okay, I need to change that hop link with my own. Um, so, you know, if you have any other questions, uh, or if you have any questions and anything, I, I, if I didn't cover something or you're still confused about something that, I, that perhaps I didn't talk about, um, you know, please feel free to email me. I hope I've covered the, the majority of what, what needs to be done to customize the blogs. Once you get the hang of it, you know, um, these should only take you, okay, not including the articles, because you do want to at least rewrite these or fully swap them out with your own. Um, maybe change it, these slider images just to make it look a little bit more unique. That's up to you. Um, you know, maybe half an hour, uh, 20 minutes, maybe even 15 minutes once you get the hang of it once you have a, a system and you go okay yeah I know I need to I'm gonna get Scott's links I'm gonna paste them into notepad and have them ready to go I'm gonna go create my hop links um, you know it, it's it's not that time-consuming or it's definitely not difficult once once you have a system down um, <clears throat> just remember all the areas I talked about all the way down to the the hop link you know in this footer widget number four or the hop links in the uh, content or just deactivate that SEO smart links plugin and you don't have to worry about that okay but remember you can use the hop links within the content for links to other pages on your site or l to link to your home page you know that's part of good on-page SEO and um, it's something that I usually do with my blogs if not I always do with my blogs and that's why I added this here you know I mean these link to hop links but they can link to your home page so anyway um, I hope this was helpful I think one last thing I'll show you is if you, you know with WordPress 3.1 you get this bar up here some of you may know how to get rid of it um, you know it's quite easy to get rid of you can just go to edit my profile I just thought I'd show this quickly. Show admin bar when viewing site. You just untick that. Okay, show admin bar. So this is under your user. This is, um, so untick when viewing site. Obviously, you just click update profile. And then go back to the home page. And it's gone. All right. So, uh, yeah, I, I wish you the best of luck, and, you know, I'm here to answer questions. Thanks again and um, for purchasing, and just let me know if you need any help. Thanks very much.